Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Gulf Coast Texas High School Football Huddle brought to you by Citizens Medical Center. I'm your host, Chris Daly, and we have a great show for you this week. As you know, the huddle is brought to you by Citizens Medical Center. One of the very cool things about the medical center is the HealthPlex. Citizens HealthPlex is Victoria's premier medical fitness and wellness facility. If your goal is to improve your health, prevent disease, help you get strong and fit, or just be well, Citizens HealthPlex is for you. In fact, it's for me, too. You'll probably see me and my wife there. Their 7,200-square-foot facility has everything you need to maximize your enjoyment and get results. They offer all the space, equipment, and classes you'll ever need to get fit and healthy, including a large array of strength and cardio equipment, over 75 classes per week, a degreed and certified fitness staff offering professional instruction. Oh, and if you need to relax, try the steam rooms, whirlpools, dry saunas, and massage therapy. You want to lose weight? Hire one of the personal trainers to work with you one-on-one, and you're sure to see the results you want. Your journey to improved health Fitness and wellness begins at Citizens HealthPlex. Looking to boost your company's marketing? Look no further than Fresh Media Works. Podcasting is the best way to promote your brand and increase your customer base. You can create your own show, be a guest on other podcasts, or advertise on existing podcasts to reach a valuable audience. Don't wait. Start elevating your marketing game today with Fresh Media Works. Call now. 713. 713- 269-4620 or find us online at freshmediaworks.com slash podcasting. Finally here. That's right. Football season is here. And once again, the Gulf Coast of Texas has some amazing teams Wow, we're going to see some fun action all year. And a lot of teams still alive late in the season, but it all starts with this one, week one. I will be joined this week and every week by Mike Foreman of the Victoria Advocate. All right, everybody join me in welcoming Mike Foreman from the Victoria Advocate to the show. Mike, how are you doing today? Doing okay, Chris. Uh like you, just getting ready for another season of football. Oh, yeah. And and I tell you, week one in the Gulf Coast Ooh. has some really good games. Yeah, you're not kidding. I, I was kind of looking at that, and I was saying, man, this, this is not easing into the season. This is <laughs> uh, this is one of the bigger weeks, actually. Uh, I'm counting like uh, maybe six, seven games that are really good games this week in our area. Yeah, yeah, let's run down down a few. What do, what do you got as the big ones? Well, the big ones, uh, I'll be at uh, Hitchcock at Refurio. Uh, yeah, I think I might be there, too. It's, uh, you know, I uh, you were, at, I think, we uh, were you at 7-on-7? Seven seven? I can't remember even if I saw you there. But uh, um, I was at 7-on-7 seven seven and uh, got a chance to watch Hitchcock. And yeah. I also saw them last season, and I want to tell you, they are loaded. They yeah. have athletes all over the field, and uh, very impressive, very, very impressive. Of course, they won their uh, second straight uh, seven-on-seven state title, um, and I know that doesn't always translate, but, uh, right. boy, uh, they're a very talented team. And then, yeah, of course, and last year... I was going to say, last uh-huh. year they really shocked Referio and uh, and walked yeah. all over them, uh, and uh, it's going to be another good one. Yeah, it should be. Referio, I saw them in the uh, their first scrimmage against Goliad, and uh, Goliad has a really good defense, and Referio uh, didn't show much. So, uh, But the thing that really impressed me about Referio was uh, its defense. Refurio is, I mean, those guys, they are fast, and they run to the ball very well. So that's the thing that people may not realize about Refurio. You know, you think about an explosive offense, but uh, their defense should be very good this season. 
Yeah, definitely. I talked with Jason Herring earlier this week, and and you know he he said that they're, they've come a long way. They were super young last year. They're still young this year. So look for them to go really far again. But, uh, again, if they lose this game, it's not the end of the season because they did it last year. Yeah, that's right. And, and, and look, let's be realistic here. In two weeks, they have Edna. And, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, Edna's loaded as well. So, theoretically, I'm not saying this will happen, but they could be, you know, one and two to start the season. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you, you know, that's the that's the way life is when you're, you're that good. You have to yeah. play people like this. I mean, you know, I don't know if uh, Refurio has it. And the same with Shiner. I don't know if either one of them have a 2A on their schedule. So, no. uh, you know, that's just kind of what happens when you're that good. You have, and it, it helps you down the road. I mean, obviously you want to avoid injuries. But uh, the level of competition that they'll see from Hitchcock, Edna, some of those teams, will be uh, so much better than what they see during the regular season in district play. Definitely. And so uh, we also have some other games, Chris. Uh, we've got uh, another one is El Campo and Cuero. Uh, yeah. Of course, a lot of interest in that game because uh, the coach at El Campo, of course, is Travis Reed, who uh, right. led, the, led the Gobblers to the 2018 state championship. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Travis's dad, Mark, coached here for a long time. So uh, it's kind of a homecoming in a way for him, although obviously he'll be on the visitor's sideline. Right. But uh, And the Gobblers, you know, after coming off, they made a state semifinal appearance last year. Uh, it's kind of interesting uh, to see, see where they are at this time of the year. Yeah, definitely. I think I think that'll end up being a, a pretty good game. Uh, El Campo graduated a lot, but they still have a lot of horses there, so it should be good. Yeah, and uh, of course their quarterback Oliver Miles, he's mm-hmm. a Texas Tech commit. Uh, if anybody uh, is that kind of follows track, uh, he uh, triple jumped fifty feet at the uh, state meet, and that's incredible. Wow. And uh, He's a great athlete, a really smart kid, uh, and he's going to be their quarterback. And now the the thing about El Campo is obviously they're learning a new offense, and uh, you know I even you know it just takes a while sometimes when you start, especially for a team like El Campo, which has mm-hmm. been a running team for so long. And you know T- Coach Reeve likes to throw the ball a little bit. And uh, so I think it may take them a little while to adjust, but uh, he'll have them going. And then, of course, Cuero, uh, you know, they lost some guys on defense, obviously. But uh, I, I, from what I understand, in fact, I'm in Cuero today, uh, their offensive line should be pretty good. They have Mason Nataro back at quarterback, mm-hmm. and uh, they have some good receivers, too. So, uh that should be a good matchup. Definitely. And, and speaking of quarterbacks, Industrial's got a tall task ahead of them this week going up against yeah. that new quarterback. <laughs> yeah, Yoakum, uh, you know, they, they um, Zachary Taylor, who's uh, committed to Army, actually, uh, will be running Yoakum's offense. And uh, Yoakum has a lot of good skill people. Um uh, you know, I, I know um, the Barnett kid, uh, I was speaking with Coach Robinson, uh, I don't remember, his la- I think it was last year, actually, when he was a freshman. He's a sophomore now. Um, Bo said he could be one of the best players he's ever coached. So oh, wow. uh, they've got some talent. And, uh, you know, I'm curious, too. Obviously, it's no secret, industrial, uh, there's been a lot of drama over there. Uh, yeah. with what happened with the baseball team. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of, it, you know, we'll see if that plays a role. Obviously, none of the kids on the football team are involved in that. But, right. uh, still, those things going on around you, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens there. I mean, that, that's an interesting one. And, uh, you know, while we spoke about Yoakum, uh, Hallettsville right down the road in their district, is mm-hmm. going over to Shiner, 
Um, yeah. You know, Coach Levi Montgomery, uh, there, uh, that's his debut as head coach. Uh, had a chance to uh, watch them in the scrimmage against Calhoun. Um, I, I'll say this, they've, uh, their quarterback, Jorian Wilson, he, I mean, he is a, uh, a specimen. He's, he's got to be about 6'4, I would think. And, uh, you know, he weighs, I would think he weighs 200 pounds or so. And, uh, he's got an arm. Um, I think it's just a matter of him, uh, getting experience because last year he was hurt in the Shiner game. Actually, it was out for the season. So really, this is kind of new to him. But once I think he gets some game experience, and he's got some talented people around him, how tells a lot of speed. And then yeah. he turned to Shiner, and of course... Uh With open enrollment coming soon for Medicare, ACA, Obamacare, and small group plans for businesses with less than 100 employees... If you're in need of health insurance solutions, look no further than HAP Insurance Agency. Yes, HAP Insurance Agency is a fantastic resource right in the heart of College Station, Texas. Whether you're in retirement, a business owner, or simply looking for the best health coverage option, HAP Insurance Agency has got you covered. You can find them in College Station at 1551 Greens Prairie Road West, Suite 101A, or give Holly Pritchard a call at 972-897-0814. That's HAP Insurance Agency. And then yeah. turn to Shiner, and of course, uh, we all know what a great job Coach Bedeker does, but... Uh, I I almost don't want to say it's a rebuilding year, <laughs> but it kind of is, you know. Yeah. Um, I hate to say that about Shiner because they, their tradition is so incredible, but uh, I think it was two offensive, three defensive starters back. That's yeah. it. Yeah, not many. And I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, this is a transition year for sure. So, uh, and it's like uh, Coach Bedeker said about the non-district schedule. I mean, uh, they just want to get better every game. So by the time they get to district, uh, they're uh, they're ready. And uh, they may be like Refurio. They they may have some losses this year, mm-hmm. but uh, you know it's still you know it's still going to help them. Yeah, definitely. And and you mentioned Calhoun. Last year was a year of streaks for Calhoun. Yeah. What is this year going to look like? Uh, well, I was I thought they looked a lot better, Krista, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, good. Even Coach, I think Coach Whitaker was even kind of pleased. Uh, he was disappointed because against Hallettsville, they, uh, they turned the ball over. Uh, in mm-hmm. fact, Hallettsville had two scooping scores. And uh, otherwise, Hallettsville only scored one touchdown and it came after an interception. So, I mean... Uh, but that offense looks a lot better. Uh, he's got, like you said, he, he's got some kids because they, of what happened last year. He was playing a lot of sophomores and juniors, and those guys mm-hmm. have experience now. So I think it'll pay yeah. off for him. I, I really think uh, Calhoun's going to be a lot better this year. Nice. And uh, there's another game, we, you know, that kind of, it's this is weird. I mean, there's so many games, but this game has kind of gotten lost. I think it's goalie out of Tidehaven. Oh mean, yeah, uh, Tidehaven is. You know, they're ranked I think fourth in the state, and uh, Joseph Dodds, the running back, who's committed to Baylor, and uh, they've got they got players all over. Kel Russell is back at quarterback. I mean, they're they're pretty stacked. And then you turn around, you look at Goliad. They have a Nine or ten, whatever you, I mean, the tenth guy played half the time on defense. So yeah. their defense is really good. I mean, I saw that against Refurio. The key for them is, uh, they're breaking in a new quarterback and some new pieces on offense. So that's, that's kind of going to be the key is how long it takes them to kind of get going on offense. But, uh, that could be a really good game, go ahead and tie it. Yeah, definitely. We have, we have Tidehaven, uh, ranked number five. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I think, I think they're every bit top five. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, 
Coach Lucio uh, really likes his group, and uh, I think they have a chance to do something special this year. And, um, you know, we haven't even mentioned Edna. They're playing East Bernard. Uh, yep. I, I don't know if East Bernard, uh, you know, we always think about East Bernard, you know, all those years. And they had kind of a downturn. Um, mm -hmm. We'll have to see how they are this year. But uh, that's a tough test against Edna because, uh, yeah. I mean, even though Edna lost some linemen, they've got replacements and their skill people are all back. And, uh, I mean, they're, uh, you know, Jerry is clay. He started mid-season as a freshman, and he's a senior now at quarterback. So you've got that kind of experience at quarterback. And, of course, you got Rodis at running back, and uh, they've got those, uh, the Ragston as the receivers. I mean, mm -hmm. their their offense is very explosive. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, and it seems like it always comes down to this. Everybody focuses on the experience at the specialty positions, but if you don't have big hog mollies there, uh, no. it's going to make it a hard, hard season. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, that's true because, uh, you know, you've got to have people up front. I mean, it, yeah. that was, uh, if you look at it, I think, uh, you know, that, that's been the difference. Like, if you look at those, those runs that Shiner made, I mean, obviously they had the Brooks Brothers, but uh, they also had a lot of good linemen up front, and yeah. uh, that's so important. And, uh, you know, we've got I, – I was looking at it. I think we have, like, uh, geez, about 12 new coaches in our area. So, wow. I mean, it's kind of interesting. And one of them, of course, is Charlie Reeve at East, Victoria yeah. East. And they'll be playing Taft. Uh, and I'm real curious, you know, I think Charlie's going to do a great job at East. And, uh, you know, this will be his first time out. Um, Bay Scrimmage Bay City, uh, he said he's got a, he could have as many as six people going both ways, which for a 5A team is, is, is kind of a lot. But, yeah, that's uh, a real lot. yeah, but, uh, you know, I think Charlie will get it going and, um, uh, I mean, I was encouraged just watching, uh, they had, they, their track program really improved, uh, last, last spring. So, uh, I think that's going to help them in football. And, you know, I look for them to, uh, you know, to come on, maybe not right away, but I think by the time they get to the district. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Anything else you have in the area? Well, um, there's some other games, you know, around, uh, one might be kind of interesting is Three Rivers at Fall City. Oh, yeah. uh, Three Rivers has got virtually everyone back. That's the team that uh, a lot of people are picking second behind Refurio in that district. So, uh, and of course, Fall City, you know, they, they struggled a little bit last year at the beginning, but uh, Braylon Johnson is, you know, he's got a year under his belt and uh, they've got a lot of guys back. So, uh, that could be a really good game too. Yeah, definitely. I think I think Three Rivers is going to surprise a whole lot of people this year. I think they're a lot better than most people think. Oh yeah, no doubt. The key for them is uh, keeping that quarterback healthy for them. To me, yeah. that's the key for them. If they can keep him healthy, uh, they'll be a, they're going to be a threat because uh, they've got, like I said, they got a ton of people back. And they were actually last year. I think they finished third behind uh, Refurio and Shiner. So uh, right. this going to be this has the potential to be a pretty good year for Three Rivers. The only other game we might uh, is Van Vleck playing at Ganado. Um, uh, you know, Van Vleck went through a coaching change. Uh, Shannon uh, Permenter took over. Um, I think they're still running the slot T. So uh, mm -hmm. apparently there won't be that much. And Ganado, you know, this this is the first time in, what, five years that Kyle Bursch Guerrero will be quarterback. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, that was one of those guys, one of those guys seemed like he'd been there forever, you know. But uh, he's gone. And uh, the concern for Ganado, as it has been lately, is depth. Uh, they just do not have a lot of people 
And uh, I know Coach Irvin is concerned about that, but if uh, Ganado can stay healthy, he's gonna. They're gonna make it. You know, they'll make some noise too. I think they have a chance to be decent. Definitely. Well, you run through a whole lot of games. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could go to all of them, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun. You said you're gonna be at uh, Referio. Yeah, I'll be at Referio Hitchcock and. Um, we got some people going, you know, to what to uh, Quero El Campo and uh, mm-hmm. hopefully Shiner and Hallettsville too. We try to cover as many as we can. Um, you mm-hmm. know, I, I don't know about most people, but I hate it when there are all these good games in one week because uh, <laughs> exactly, you know, kind of limits what you can do. But uh, yeah, it should be an interesting first week. Definitely. Well, Mike Foreman, guys, I want to thank you again for. Uh, sharing some of your insight, and I look forward to talking with you each week. Sounds good, Chris. Take care. Do you have a party coming up or just want a special gift? Check out Nani's Sweeter Side. Yes, Nani's Sweeter Side makes the most amazing custom-created sugar cookies with your design. They also offer paint-your-own cookies and decorate your own cookies. Those make an excellent, sweet activity that you can sink your teeth into at parties. Nani's also offers some of the most amazing cupcakes ever. You can check out Nani's Sweeter Side at naniesweeterside.com. That's N-A-N-I. Check her out on Facebook. Just look for Nani's Sweeter Side. Or give her a call at 937-499-4790. And Nani Sweeter Side, you'll find that happiness is homemade. You're listening to the Lone Star Gridiron Sports Network. Hey, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I want to thank Citizens Medical Center for bringing you the Gulf Coast Texas High School Football Huddle. Please take a second to share this show with your friends and family. Like and subscribe on any major podcast platform, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, Google Play, wherever you find podcasts, you will find the Gulf Coast Texas High School Football Huddle. I'm your host, Chris Daly, and I'm hoping to see you at the game.